Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Not long ago, I did a video about a stove and a pot from the company Bulin and I compared it to the MSR reactor system. Now at the time I didn't have the reactor system and I thought, well, should I get one? Because I really was trying to compare them. I was using the numbers that I got with the numbers that I got from MSR on the internet. Now the internet numbers tend to be very, uh, hmm, questionable, but MSR does tend to be one of the companies that report things fairly accurately. Well, I was at REI the other day and there was a 25% off sale for uh, Labor Day. I used that on a little bit bigger purchase, but I did use my 20% off coupon that I get with REI to buy the reactor system, the 1.7 liter model. So stay tuned today. We're finally gonna take a look at these two stoves, compare them head to head, and see if one of them is really worth a whole lot more money. So right off the bat, why make this video? Why take the time to compare these two? Well, the, the bottom line is 200 bucks. We're looking at about 190 to $200 difference between the Boolean stove system and the MSR reactor. That's a lot of money. We're looking at two stoves that use this radiant burner technology. They're very, very wind resistant. We've proven that on other videos. That's not the point. Both of them are very wind resistant. And in fact, I have a complete review on both of these stove systems on the channel. I'll make sure and leave links down below. I've looked at both of them in detail. Now it's time to put them head to head. The overall effectiveness of the design of each of them is very impressive. Let's take a look at them starting with the Bulin. We'll start with the Bulin 3800 windproof camping stove and the heat exchanger one and a half liter pot. Let's get it out of its case here. It does come with a little case. There's our pot, just squeeze this in and we can get our stove out. Very simple to open up. Just have to get this hose out before you open up the legs like that. The dimensions of the stove are 4.5 by 4.5 by 2.8. That's it completely uh, collapsed down. Weight is one pound. It uses a standard isobutane canister. Claims one liter bowl time in only four minutes. So we're going to find out if that's the case. Now in the description, it claims to have a built-in piezo igniter. I can tell you guys that it does not, but it does have excellent flame control. You also can use different size pots. You can see you've got these little extensions here that allow you to use a smaller pot. And if you're not going to use a smaller pot, you can just put them up like that. The pot itself, as you can see, specs are 7.1 by 6 by 5.8. It also weighs approximately one pound. It holds one and a half liters of water. It holds the larger gas canister along inside of it. So you can put the stove, which has its own little stuff sack inside, plus the eight ounce or larger kind of medium size gas canister. It does have a folding heat resistant handle, as you can see right here, pretty handy. I've used it quite a bit and never had any issues with this rubberized area getting burnt at all. It does have a heat exchanger bottom, as you can see, similar to like the Jetboil flux ring technology. Now the way that it interacts is pops right on it, like literally on it. You can see, you can't even see the uh, stove portion or the burner. That's what makes it so wind resistant. Now, the most important spec is probably the price. Now on Amazon, the stove is $35, the pot is $30, so that's $65. On, on AliExpress, you can actually buy both together for $55, that's what I did. So either $55 or $65, pretty amazing price. Again, you can see how these fit together. You can see why there would be such a windproof nature to it because it absolutely covers up that burner and it's designed to fit right inside of there. I'll show you guys the flame pattern or what the flame looks like, and then we're gonna boil some water. Not two cups this time, one full liter.
we'll take a look at the more expensive MSR uh, reactor. This is 1.7 liter. We'll pull out the parts here. It's got this little, this little metal thing, just pops like that. You can take this off. We'll pull this gas canister to the side real quick. There is our pot, and very simply, there's our burner. It comes with this little felt to protect the burner from the bottom of the pot, and of course the top itself. Top's kind of cool, you can plug it off if you want uh, less steam to come out, or you can open it up and it fits just like that. The dimensions of the whole system are six by six by 7.5. Weight is a very impressive one pound, three ounces. Once again, it works with a standard isobutane canister. This is the eight ounce, and it also will fit inside of here, as you saw, very similar to the other system we looked at. It has the heat exchange technology at the bottom. Uh, each of these companies has kind of their own take on uh, this technology. This is what the MSR looks like. Does look very different from the Boolin and also very different from Jetboil. Concept though is the same. It claims to boil one liter of water in three minutes. So the other one said four minutes. This one says three minutes. Very similar design. This burner works through convection as well as radiant heat. So it really puts the screws to the bottom of this pot and it fits right on there. As you can see, once again, that's what makes it so wind resistant. You got this burner and it fits perfectly on there. It doesn't lock in, but it, 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 it has a very nice positive grip to it. It's not going anywhere. That's what's gonna create such a wind resistant design. Price, pretty hefty, $250 for this thing. Now I happen to get it with my 20% off coupon at REI, so I got a 20% off that 250, but still very expensive. Once again, it's hard to beat the wind resistance of a system like this, just because of the way that these pieces come together. They're both very similar, so we'll put them up against each other here in a second. Let me show you guys what the flame looks like in the dark, uh, or at least what this radiant heat looks like in the dark. And then we're gonna boil one full liter of water and see what we get. So let's talk about the results. The difference in boil time is about 30 seconds. The MSR, of course, is faster. The MSR also uses less fuel, four grams less. We have 12 grams for the Boolin, eight grams for the MSR. Pretty significant difference. Of course, the biggest difference is the price, right at about $190 more for the MSR. The other two major differences are weight. The MSR is three quarters of a pound lighter. And volume, the MSR has 0.2 liters, uh, more volume, you have 1.7 liters for the MSR versus 1.5 liters for the Boolin. Keep in mind that both these systems are really all about boiling water. It's hard to turn the power down enough to really cook with them. You can, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can do basic things, but I would not depend on these stove systems to saute and simmer and all the things that you might do when you're cooking. You can do it, but there are gonna be limitations. And if you're planning on going out into the back country and doing some Interesting cooking. I would definitely try these out before you go because you need to decide whether or not it will work for you or not. So which do I prefer? Well, look, the MSR is a better product on multiple levels. First of all, it's much more compact and it weighs quite a bit less. Can't argue with three quarters of a pound lighter. You also can put everything inside very nicely. You can also with the Boolin, but the overall footprint is larger, especially when you open up the stove. But you're looking at a price difference of basically $250 versus let's just call it $60, right? Depending on where you get it from. So $190 difference. Is the MSR worth $190 more? I haven't owned either of these for years and years and years. I do a lot of stove testing. I'm sure the MSR probably will last longer. But in the end, you're looking at very comparable results. If you really wanna save fuel, obviously the MSR is gonna be what you wanna do. You're gonna spend more money for that. If you're wanting to save time in boiling, I don't know that 30 seconds is enough to say. Now this was a pretty difficult boil test because we started fairly low 
on the temperature of the water. So it's not surprising to me that it's a little bit more than what they said. If we use maybe 70 degree water to start, I think that three and four minute time that each of the companies quoted will probably be very close to the right time. So if you want something that's the highest quality possible, that is most efficient and does boil the fastest, you go with the MSR. But look, if you're looking for something that's comparable, that's a little bit heavier, and you want that same technology where the pot sits right on top of that radiant burner, do not hesitate to pick up the bullet. And I'll tell you guys, these stoves tend to come and go very quickly. The MSR will be available for a very long time, but as I purchase a lot of stoves, I'll buy a stove and test it for three or four months. Uh, then maybe six months after I buy it, I'll make a video and I'll publish it, and the stove's gone. So if you guys are interested in this stove, go ahead and pick it up. I'll leave links down below, both to Amazon as well as to AliExpress. You know, if you want to get something similar like this, if you've wanted an MSR reactor and you don't want to bust out the money, which I totally understand, this is a very good option. It works very similarly. Just pick one up before they go off the market. This winter, I plan on using both of these quite a bit more on my adventures out into the woods. So I'll let you guys know if anything changes as far as how I feel. But in the end, you pay for what you get. The MSR is lighter, it's faster, and it's more efficient, but it costs a whole lot more money. Whether or not it's worth the $250 versus $60, that's completely up to you. You know what you're getting. I think with either product, you're getting something very effective. It should last a pretty long time if you take care of it. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves. I'll make sure to leave a link down below to that playlist. Do me a big favor, guys. If you like these stove videos, these comparison videos, I really do use how much that like button is hit to decide which videos to publish in the future. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Look, if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. That's just fine with me. Either way, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. Family's driving in today. I've shot a couple of videos here in the house. Kinda nice, cause it's, you know, 110 degrees outside. Nonetheless, I've had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video between these two very nice stoves. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.